Hey, how's it going, guys? I'm bringing you all an iOS tutorial, my first iOS tutorial on uh, the Minecraft Pocket Edition on how to move your single single player map from your computer onto the Pocket Edition, and uh, you know, take your map from whatever you made from your computer on the go. Um, it's a pretty cool feature. Uh, just figured it out on myself. I looked on YouTube and there was no other tutorials on how to do this. So I decided to make it myself for you guys, teach you guys how to do this. So you're going to need three things. You're going to need this app called iExplore. You can download this in the description. You can download all these in the description, the softwares you need. Then you're going to need MC Edit. And of course you should have Minecraft. Otherwise, I don't know why you'd be on this video. And of course, for the uh, iPod, you're going to need Minecraft Pocket Edition. That's the only thing you're going to need for your iPod. All right, so first things first. What is the first thing to do, actually? Oh, yeah. We're going to go onto your iPod, and you're going to go into Minecraft Pocket Edition. You're going to go into the game. Go ahead and play. And what you're going to do is you're going to make a new, a new world. You can name it whatever you want. I'll just say... Uh, YouTube test or something. You can name it whatever you want, and you can have the creative or survival. That's your decision. You can do whatever you want with that. I'm just going to say creative just because I want to show you a little bit easier. I want to show you everything and uh, stuff like that. It'll be harder to show you everything on survival. So uh, I'm going to put creative. You can put whatever you want. And you're going to go ahead and generate the world. Give it some time. Should take you a little bit. All right, now we're in the world. You can see I'm in creative. And uh, yeah, once the world loads, you can basically close out and that's all you need to do. Simple as that, right? And next thing you wanna do is you wanna plug it in to your computer. Now what you wanna do now is you want to go to MC Edit. And I forgot to let you guys know that um, you can only move from the computer to your iPod. You can only move 256 by 256 blocks because that is the radius or the amount you can uh, you can move. The, well, the iPod edition only has 256 blocks uh, in length. So that's the only thing you can copy from um, your uh, computer world, which is why we're using this MC Edit. So we can cut it out and uh, you can cut out 256 blocks and then move it to your to your uh, iPod. So uh, you want to load whatever single player world you want to uh, put on your iPod. Um, go ahead and load a world and we're gonna just go ahead and copy this one. So this is on my single player map. This is what I want to copy onto my iPod. So we want to copy 256 blocks by 256. And uh, the height, the uh, y-axis, you can only copy 128 because that's the amount the iPod edition has. You'll you'll understand more once you get more into the tutorial. But um, we're gonna try to copy uh 200 256 by 256 by uh 128. I hope that's not too confusing for you. But we're gonna that's only the amount we can copy. So I'm gonna try to copy as much as I can. And I also looked up that uh they're gonna on uh iOS 0.9.0, that version for the Minecraft Pocket Edition, that they're going to actually make it to a uh, to the like infinite block. They're going to update to that. But uh, don't quote me on that. I just read it somewhere. Hopefully they'll do that eventually, and, and then that way maybe you can op you can copy the whole world onto your uh, onto your uh, Pocket Edition. All right, enough for rambling on that. We're going to try to copy. Uh, a lot. I'm going to try to copy as much as I can. So what I'm doing right now is to move the block close to you. You just want to hold on right click and then I'll bring it close to you and then you can use the wheel to scroll it however close or how far away. So uh, I'm just going to try to copy that much. And then you can see the, the coordinates are on the screen now once you left click. And I'm still holding the right, the right click at the moment. So what you want to do is you want to try to go as far as you can and like I said, you can go 256 by 256, and you can see the X3433H. 33 That's the height. So you can go all the way down to 128. So I'm going to copy and all the way until the W and L goes to 256. I'm going to go a little bit under that just so we're for sure not going over. Because if you go over, this won't work. 
So, all right. So that's that's probably good. I'd say. Now we're gonna go down. I recommend going from the top and not not to bedrock up because if you go to bedrock up, the computer version is bigger, so you're not gonna be able to get the surface. So I re I recommend doing what I just did and going from the top and going towards the bottom. And we're gonna go all the way down to, wow, 120. Mario Bedrock. Oh, maybe because I didn't go all the way up. That's why. Because you can't copy from um you can't copy from all the way up. All the way like I only started to right here. I didn't go all the way up to these blue squares. This is probably like 256 up. And the pocket edition doesn't go up this high. So what I did is what I went up that high, and then you can copy everything all the way down to bedrock. Um, so yeah, once you have everything highlighted, oh yeah, and I, I don't know if I told you, but I hit left click again to let go of that, and then you'll get this whitish grid, and this is what I'm copying, I'm, com I'm copying this entire place, and I'm going to put all this on the pocket edition, right here. So once you get that, all you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and hit copy right here, and then it'll copy all the blocks, and then on the top right, you'll see the chunk that it copied. And you can see the coordinates right here. It says 251 by 249 by 104. So I'm not going over 256, 256, or 128. So that's perfect. All right, next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and minimize that. We're going to go into iExplorer. Explorer. Go ahead and go into that. And then this will open up your iPod. And this is the only way you can kind of get to your worlds on your uh, Pocket Edition uh, for your iPod. So what you want to do is you want to go to Apps. And you're going to go to Minecraft Pocket Edition. Then you're going to go to Documents, Games, dot, or com dot mojang, and then you go to Minecraft Worlds. Now we're going to look up what we just made, which, is, which was YouTube Test. So we're going to click on that world. And we're going to copy everything here, highlight everything, and we're going to put it on our desktop. And it should take all the files and move them onto your desktop. You can minimize this. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go back to MC Edit. Right here. And you're going to go to, I believe right here. And then you're going to say close. Don't worry, you won't lose anything. It's, it's already copied and ready to go. So you're going to hit close. That's going to take away that world. And then you're going to open a level. And then you're going to go to your desktop where you uh, copied the uh, files from your iOS and then you're going to click on level.dat and this is the pocket edition what you copied I'm going to wait until the whole thing loads so I think my suggestion is just go around the world and make sure every block loads up or whatever and then um, you're going to start at a corner, and you're going to go all the way down to bedrock. So let me find a corner here. This is a corner of the, of the map, and we're going to go all the way down, all the way to bedrock. Awesome. And then we're going to, I'm holding the right click again, and I'm just scrolling in and out on my mouse. And uh, you want to highlight the bottom block in the corner. So as you can see, I clicked on it. And then what you want to do is you want to go all the way up to the far corner and you're going to go all the way up and you're going to see that the uh, 128H that's the height and that's as far as it goes like I'm going above the blue um, the blue uh, squares you know so it's I think I'm going too far yeah I'm going way too far <laughs> I kind of lost uh, track oh, get out of there anyways um, so this is like the height and that's just that you can't go you can't exceed that. You can't go past that. So it stops at 128. And then you can see the, you can see uh, farthest away, you can see those uh, light blue and dark blue uh, squares that are at the bottom. That's where bedrock is, and that's the limit for that. So you're going to this far corner right here. Right here. Let me try to highlight this. And then you're going to go all the way up. Oh, that sucks. 
I'm sorry, I suck at this. Okay, so you're gonna go all the way up, and you're gonna go all the way up till you you hit the uh, limit, which is 128. So everything this should say 100, 256 right there. Um, I'm not the best at this. I'm sorry. You might be better at this than me, but I'm sorry for wasting your time here. Just give me a second. All right, I just need to go one more up. All right, so now we hit. Wait, is it 128? Yeah, it's 128. My bad. So there we go. Finally, we hit. 256 by 256 by 128. That is the limit. That is the space that uh, the Pocket Edition has. You're highlighting all of this. So you're going to click that, and you have all that highlighted. As you can see, this entire world. And simply what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and go down here and delete blocks. Uh, delete chunk. I think. Or no, maybe maybe fill with hill. Fill with uh fill with air. I mean let's try that. Yeah, there we go. Okay. You had to fill it with air. So now it's completely empty. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna paste. And that's this is the pasting what you copied from the single format. So you're gonna paste and you can see that it's on your uh it's on your mouse. So what you're going to do is you're going to make it so it fits right here. Just let it load. It'll take a little bit of time. I think that's good. So then once you once it's ready to go, just left click and import. Now it'll import your single player world. As you can see, it did that. So let's just wait for this to load here. And I'm going to show you that this is the world that I created, that I copied. This is my single player world. So as you can see, this is uh, this is it. Yeah, this is my uh, single player world that I copied. So I'm going to say right now that uh, I forgot to mention that uh, the blocks that are not yet in the pocket edition they're going to be replaced with uh wool with these wool because these are uh, stone brick uh steps that i made and the pocket edition doesn't have that yet um so basically it replaces it and substitutes in wool so everything that the pocket edition doesn't have it's going to replace as wool so that that's cake it does have cake but sometimes it what it already has, it replaces that wall. Like for example, it obviously has a crafting table, which is, this is my crafting table right here. And they replaced it as wool. So that's kind of a bummer. Um, this is my ender chest, it replaced and stuff like that. So it re replaces some stuff that the pocket edition doesn't know and it replaces it as wool. These were my nether warts. And yeah, so that's basically that part. So then what you want to do is you want to hit control S because this saves it. All right, let it save. All right, and then we're done. So then what you can do is you can go ahead and close that. And then the final thing to do is reopen your iExplorer application. And what you want to do is you want to highlight the desktop uh, folders that you moved and move it back to the iExplorer. And just hit OK, hit OK, hit OK, hit OK, and you are done. Now I'm going to show you that it moved to my uh, my uh, iPod. Okay, so back to my iPod. We're going to show you that uh, it moved it all back. So we're going to go back into Minecraft Pocket Edition. And I forgot to close this out. So you're going to close out, and then you're going to go back in, and then you go to YouTube Test. And as you can see, if I can show you clearly here, that this is the world that was on my single player map on my computer. And now it is obviously on my iPod. So this is a great way to uh, put your map on your iPod and just take it on the go. And as you can see, these were railroad tracks. And it obviously has railroad tracks now. But um, it replaces it with wool. So, 
don't worry, that's normal. And uh, yeah, this takes everything and moves it, which is really cool. Whoops. Uh, we'll uh, we'll fix that later. All right, so we're gonna go into my house. And uh, one thing you're gonna know is that your chests are gonna be invisible. So what you want to do is to make it go back. It's invisible, but it's still there. Like I'm running into it, and it's just a invisible block. So what you want to do is you just want to click on it, and it'll come back up. See? So there's a chest here, I believe, and a chest here, I believe. Um, it doesn't make them double chests. It makes them single chests, which is you can obviously fix that, I believe. So, yeah, that is pretty much it. What did I do? Oh, but um. Yeah, so that moves it all, and now this single player map is on your iPod. Pretty cool. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial. Please leave a like if this has helped you in any way, and subscribe if you're new and want to see more of my videos. I play video games, and I make commentaries and stuff like that, so uh, please check that out if you're interested. I am a pretty... Uh, entertaining guy, I guess. Uh, maybe not really, but yeah. Anyways, so hope you guys enjoy. Please leave a like if you did. Subscribe for more, and I will see you guys next time. See ya. That was this. Get out of here. Where's my sword? There it is. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. I meant. Oh fuck. That was not a good idea. All right. Well. And there goes my pickaxe. All right. Here we go. Bring it on. Bring it on.